Hi everyone, welcome back to Wickhome Creative Works. This is our YouTube channel that we have built uh, as a tool so people can follow our projects from start to finish and learn more about what we do and exactly how we do it. Today we're talking about weddings, weddings and brides and brides to be, and specifically engagements. And when you get engaged, what do you do? Well, you celebrate. How do you celebrate? Well, in this case, the parents have decided to mark the occasion with a painting. So this is Brian and Laura. They recently got engaged and they had a wonderful photo session at the beach. And after talking with the parents, we selected this photo to use. And I'll, there's a couple reasons why. Now they sent a bunch of photos, but this one we like very much because it has drapery. Drapery and folds of fabric is a great way that we can make our work really pop off the canvas in the studio phase. Right now you're gonna see all the digital work and that helps us to bit later layer our paint on top of that image. We'll see more of that later on, but moving on here, we love all this drapery, all the fold in the fabric. We're really gonna use that to really make this painting uh, sing off the wall. Also, we like hair, like to see a lot of hair, and we like uh, contrasting color or an opportunity to have dynamic color. In this case, what's really gonna be the, the signature part of this painting is gonna be her dress. Um, Right here, David's shirt is white. It blends into the white background, and his his shorts and his, um, the rest of his body have kind of a monotone feel with the sand and wet surf in front of him. So in the later phase of this picture, we're going to clean all that up, and we're going to make him stand out, borrowing elements of the sky. There's some violet. There's some light blue, and we're going to have that reflective in his shirt, and we're going to have sunlight really sheen and uh, pop the folds and fabric in her dress. So these guys are really going to come to life when we add color and texture later on. So let's take a look at the next step. What happens is we will go into Photoshop and talk with the client. And after uh, setting up the composition, we'll then start to uh, block things out. Just real rough brush strokes using the stylus and Corel Painter and everything here looks really loose. You can see there's no real definition going on. There's no clean line between person and background and that's what we want. We want a very impressionistic, very loose looking painting. I don't want it looking very resolved or photographic because then we're back to this. We want something that's going to really show brushwork and knife work and give opportunity for texture and building color later on in the studio phase. So we lay everything in and we give the client a, a, a little bit of an idea of how things are going to look. Things that are important like facial features, hands, things that are going to be featured like the folds in the dress. Those things are kept as close to uh, photographic as possible with a lot of brushwork mixed in. But things that aren't so important, like um, down here, his legs, uh, their feet, where, where they touch the sand, the sand itself, the reflection, the background, waves and surf, these things aren't hugely important to the picture. And if we decide to make those crisp and clean, they would take away from the rest of the central figures here. We don't want to do that. Um, this is a engagement picture, and engagement pictures have brides, and the bride is the show of what's going on. So we really want to really want to highlight her. So. After we uh, got that blocked in, then we move along into Corel Painter with the stylus, and we're going to add some color, and this is what we get. We get her dress, we get the drapes, we get the folds, we get the colors really starting to come through. We go into the skin tones. You can see how we bring the skin tones uh, more vibrant, almost really exaggerated, because we want this to be colorful. We want to really exaggerate color and, and hue and value. We're going to accentuate light, and we're really going to make these two pop off of the background. Instead of putting in this, this brownish, tannish surf, we cloned it out and made it really soft, and instead used the colors down here to blend a really subdued ground and, and surf line into a subdued uh, skyline. So very, very... Uh, setback pastels, soft blues, soft beiges, because we want the couple in the middle to be the feature of the piece. We don't want your eye to go to anywhere else but these two right in the middle. So that's how it looks before we go to our final phase over in Corel Painter. Once we do that, it comes back to us. We stretch it over regular canvas strips. Uh, it looks just like a museum piece you would see in a gallery. 
and then using these uh, images, all the work we did here in Corel Painter, setting things up, setting in colors and tones. Um, these are uh, trail breadcrumbs, if you will, that then we then use for our real paint to go on top. So when I get uh, white on my brush or blue on my knife, I know exactly where to go with it. And I'm going to build these up. So when this piece is right in front of you on the wall, uh, it will be texturous. The colors will just jump right off the canvas, and you're going to have a museum-looking piece. All right? So how do I get this? Someone might ask. Well, you come over here to your web browser, and in the top, you're going to put in Etsy. And when you go to Etsy up top here, you're going to look for our shop. Now, our name is Whitcomb Creative Works. But here in Etsy, we go by W Creative Works. So in the top of your browser, put in W Creative Works and search. And you're going to find us. Here we are. Look for our blue W, this serif W here. That, 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 that's the moniker we're going with for right now. Uh, you're going to find it on our page. And beneath here, you're going to see all these thumbnails of artwork that we produce not only do we do custom work uh, with portraiture we also do a, a big line of devotional pieces as well uh, those include our own photographs that we later create into paintings like this piece right here that is meant to replicate weathered beech wood on a stretch canvas with the shells of the bible verse here is an ocean scene that we did here's an original piece my wife painted um, and everything in between so come on here. When you want to have a custom piece made, you're going to look for this thumbnail right here, the one with the uh, the, the, the flower girl and the uh, bridesmaid from our wedding. You're going to click on that. And here comes the listing of how to get a custom bridal piece made for you. All right. This is our flower girl. This is the flower girl and maid of honor. This is... Um, this here is my son, and what I want you to see here is the textured background. You see that? It looks like a, like a Tuscan kind of kind of piece. And look here on his hair. You see how the brushwork is really loose? Nothing's really defined, even here in his vest. Nothing really, really refined. It's really loose, really blended. That's what we want to see. That's the kind of style we like, and that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna ask that if uh, if you know of someone that is interested in what we do and wants to have a, a real signature piece in their home from their wedding or anniversary or family photo, you just find us on the web at W Creative Works here in Etsy and give us a shout.